皆さんこんにちはドミニコです。Now you will see a very unusual teaching class example. The teacher in that class is 10 years old Mayu Sensei. She is a very shy girl. That's why、uh, we couldn't really provide you the full class、uh, and stuff. What is she doing? Because she didn't really want to be recorded and. She was not feeling comfortable while someone is recording her classes. Now, 10 years old kid, you may say, obviously, she is not a teacher. Well, I would obviously argue, because obviously, she is a teacher. A kid has advantage over adults in teaching language. As you can see, Mayu sensei is not using any books for teaching. She is not teaching any grammar style, what most, if not all, the teachers are teaching. She obviously also has no education license background、uh, as teachers have or they study to get. Yet, she is one of the most wanted t y p e Of teachers that everyone from kids to adults are asking. Obviously, kids cannot teach full time, this is more for fun. But you can imagine if Mayu sensei is having fun and is enjoying at the age of 10 teaching not just kids, adults too. And if adults and foreigners are listening to her and they learn and study. You can imagine in the next five to ten years, she will have no competition on the market. She wouldn't need any degree, any license to be one of the best and most wanted teachers. Instead of playing g a m e on Sunday, for example, she can teach online or she can help the other teacher. This is super big advantage for the kids, and again, No matter how hard you study, you will have no chance with a person who from this age is having classes, learning, practicing in natural way. Of being a kid and teaching as a kid. And it's not only for Japanese、uh, you know, study. If you learn English, you would also learn and you do learn much more from the kids than from adults. Especially as a beginner to get as a teacher. Now, advantage kids have something that adults should learn. For example, kids are not shy to take students' mistakes. You know, whether it's me, whether Mayu Sensei is teaching me or others, she is not shy to point the mistake, especially the pronunciation that I'm making. Typical teacher may correct you once, twice, and that's all. A kid will keep telling you forever that it's still wrong, change it, wrong, wrong, and wrong, to the point until you change it. This is super important because after the class with a kid, you as a student would learn the proper pronunciation, where the adult teacher is not doing this for many reasons. Also, a kid can understand. Foreigners' problems much better than no matter how well educated adult teacher. Especially, I'm talking about the pronunciation and problems by observing students. Mayu chan is able immediately to locate the problem of the particular student, whether it's an adult or kids. She doesn't need to learn, study anything. She can observe and she can tell after the class. What kind of problems is facing this student and that student? This is something that teachers usually are not able to tell, even experience. A kid can immediately locate the problem. What the student is good with, what student likes. Also, a kid is very creative. Mayu chan is not following any books, but you know what is she doing? She is preparing for the class. Big advantage. She prepares slides. She thinks what to teach. Of course, it's good to give her some ideas, but she prepares from the real life things. What is being used in everyday s i t u a t i o n What she knows as a kid. 
She's not trying to use the vocabulary that she's not using. She's not trying to explain to teach grammar that she doesn't know because nobody is teaching her this at school or it's very simple. So she is teaching very natural way. And that is the best way for beginners. And that is also, we had a class when we started online lessons during Corona. We had different classes. One class was study like a baby, one class was a music class, one class was like manga study type. The most wanted class was study like a baby and the most expensive. And the main difference in study like a baby class was no books, no grammar explanation, just like Mayu Chan is teaching, just like all the kids are studying from parents from the beginning. Parents are not using books, not explaining grammar to kids, yes? And they are became native. And this is the best natural way and most wanted actually by foreigners. And the feedback we are getting from every single student, whether adult or a kid, the best feedback and everyone is happy with Mayu Sensei lessons type. And they are happy not only because, you know, she's a kid, everyone, of course, uh, is happy to interact with kids. They learn because it's interesting, it's different, it's a very natural way. And this is what many teachers are missing, the natural way of teaching students. And there is a one big point what Japanese language teachers make mistake when they teach foreigners. There is a big difference between students who are foreigners studying Japanese language and, for example, Japanese students studying whatever they study at school. The difference is, at school, you need to study whether you like it or not. You have nothing to say. Everyone is studying. They tell you it's, it's needed for degree to get to another class, uh, another year, get the grades. Foreigners study Japanese. This is what teachers are forgetting or not even thinking about. Typical foreigner is studying Japanese language because they like Japan, they like Japanese culture for many different reasons. But the whole point is they don't need to study Japanese language. So you cannot teach a foreigner who doesn't need to actually study your language, you cannot teach this person in a way that you teach at school students that they have to study. Foreigner is studying Japanese language as a hobby. He or she can change this anytime. They can study Spanish, you know, they can study Portuguese, they can study German if they don't like the teacher, if they are bored, if you cannot make interesting lessons, they will very likely stop studying and change subject. That's why typical teaching and what the license is teaching, it's teaching like the public school for students that they have no choice. Foreigner has a choice of teachers, schools and the language. And your job as a teacher is to make sure the foreigner wants to study more. Nobody is pushing the foreigner to study Japanese. There is no need for them at all. Even if they want to live in Japan, they don't need to study Japanese. The best student for you is the student that is hobby studying Japanese, whatever the reason is. And your job is to make sure that he or she Keep studying, is enjoying. Do not make very boring classes or demand too much from them because they can quit anytime they like. Teachers, adults should learn from kids natural way of studying. That's all for today. Thank you very much.